out of y'all. So I just want to give my gratitude and love to you guys because I've been having a little bit of a rough past week and I just want to say that it's just nice to be able to connect with y'all for this type of video. So let's get into this. Hey girl. Hello my beautiful Libra, how are you doing? My name is Simply Velka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly general reading this week. Now Libra, I also do your weekly you versus them reading which I'll put a link to over here as well for you to check out at a later point if you would like. But when it comes to any of my readings Libra, be sure to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you Libra. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could so take the cards that resonate, leave what doesn't because I promise you I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. Now Libra, if you do find some cards that resonate with you, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. Be sure to let me know um, which card resonates with you because I love keeping up with y'all in the comments. I do just appreciate you guys taking the time to just interact with me, right? And now finally Libra, this reading's just here to give you some perspective, right? I'm not here to make a decision in your life because it's your life to live, not mine, right? Hopefully this reading just gives you some food for thought for you to think about as you go throughout your week. So with all that being said, Libra, let's get into your reading for this week, right? Let's look at these overall energies that we have going on for you, Libra. And a little bit of an interesting uh, week. I kind of want to just suggest Libra write down two for numerology and look that up later. Uh, but we have the Two of Swords and the Two of Pentacles. Definitely, I feel like this is a, a choice. I see this as a fork in the road. I see this Libra as like a defensive energy though. Um, it shows to me with the Two of Pentacles, you're dealing with a little bit of chaos, right? You look at the background here and it's just like, it's a little bit chaotic and you're just having to juggle a lot. And Libra, it shows to me here for some of you guys, like sword cards are, um, there's the element for swords in tarot is for air. And so it's kind of like dealing with like the mental and like, you know, just like your mindset overall, right? Matters of the mind and your thoughts and all that. So when I see the two of swords here, it kind of lets me know, Libra, that you might not be um, handling this quite well. You might be uh, in this place of kind of just in this, in the midst of this chaos this week of just kind of like freezing up. I don't want to say freezing up, but you're just like, kind of like reclusing, closing off. I won't be surprised if we see the Hermit card in this reading uh, this week, Libra. Um, so definitely interesting. Uh, I do kind of want to say when uh, the Two of Swords also kind of represents like um, being closed off, like because again, like you see, you see this individual, she her arms are crossed and usually with Two of Swords and Tarot, it's usually portrayed as an individual closing off, being not opening themselves up to blessings or any type of energy. Um, and so when you have it with the two of pentacles as well, I just, mm, two of swords, I see it as a crossroads, two of pentacles, I see it as like jumbling with a couple different options, a couple different choices, Libra. And so we'll just see how this uh, continues on with the theme for this week, Libra. Now, first, we're going to do a spread for your career, my lovely Libras, and see what's up with that first. But interesting for starting energies, what I would say, Libra, just as an advice, uh, take some time to connect with your spirit guides is something that I'm getting. That's for sure. If you're feeling anxious or anything like that, um, I just feel like this is going to be a pretty chaotic week for you and probably um, emotions being high, perhaps 10 of cups coming in for your work situation. So this is looking good, at least, Libra. Ten of cups, when you have this in for your career, this is like things are finally... Um, your cups are being filled. You are probably starting to see the results or something, or at the very least, uh, Libra, you're being motivated. I can't tell if like my camera smudged. Hold on, Libra. <laughs> I apologize for this ahead of time, but maybe I'll edit that out, but I think I'll just keep it in. But uh, Libra, <laughs> Ten of Cups, yeah, it just talks about like your cup being filled. I feel like I just made it worse, honey. It's weird. I hope... <laughs> whatever so yeah cups being filled really good card to have um so this week libra even though you have like the chaos in your life you have this like um yeah it probably is just a matter of like you're dealing with a lot libra there's a lot of chaos happening but through this chaos you're also seeing some like um blessings in between it i would say you're seeing like it's almost like it sounds so bad, but I see it as like a bone being tossed to you by the universe. And it sounds bad just because it's just like, why do you need a bone to be tossed to you, Libra, right? But it's more like, 
I don't know. I think I see things like working out. I feel like this is like the last like release for a lot of you Libras um, before you start like you're making final space to welcome in new things, new energy, um, because that t- tends I associate with the closures of cycle. So probably, especially with work situations, you're probably dealing with some closures, maybe some cutting off past connections with like in terms of like uh, co-workers or business, uh, for example, or you're closing off, you know, uh just even like perhaps like your approach to work or maybe just like your relationship with work libra um because i do want to keep in mind with this energy with the two of swords it does let lead me to believe i feel like part of your um i don't want to say struggle libra but the thing that you are challenging you're being challenged with this week is to kind of just stay motivated not to shut down i feel we have for clarifiers the strength card coming in libra and i always call the strength card the card of um shadow work card this lets me know that there's some like this week there's some type of lesson going on here that you can learn uh, going on with your work life because like yeah your cups are being filled but if you're not feeling that in, in this current situation we have to figure out why um because i do see i don't like <clears throat> as, as cliche as it sounds libra i do see like a lot of blessings coming towards you in terms of career and so a lot of good things uh building up uh five of swords back of the deck energy is letting me know of where it is like you're kind of in your head about this libra um <sighs> I know it doesn't mean much, Libra. All I can really say is just keep pushing. Keep, um, uh, meditate. There's real strong push to meditate with this King of Cups, being in tune with your emotions. Keep your emotions settled. Don't react, Libra. Uh, stay balanced, right? Because, um, even if you are starting to lose faith, like, something is definitely coming for you. Um, like, I see, I don't know, I just see so much, like, I just feel like I'm being shown like the lot, like I keep hearing and I keep seeing like the final books of a page being closed, Libra. And so it's just like the final chapter being closed to something. And so, and I'm getting teary eyed just because it's like, I, I always have had done this since I was like a young Libra, but I really do feel as if like, um, you guys are just in like your last stretch, Libra. I know a lot of you guys are tired and probably just like, yeah, you're just guarded. You're just like ready to just like, ugh. You want to be able to like put down your guard and really just relax. And I feel like it's coming. Um, Knight of Cups comes in as well for you, Libra, for the final clarifier for your Ten of Cups. And so this is like the Ana Ana. Hello. This is an opportunity coming towards you, Libra. This is something coming towards you. You know, Knight of Cups. Um, it is like in normal tarot, just like the representation Libra of a person coming towards you, uh, offering like their love, offering their cup to you. Uh, but when it's in the situation for work and career for you, Libra, um, you could see this as a potential of, um, someone coming in with it, like an opportunity, like a business opportunity with an offer of some sort, right? I don't want to really neglect that, um, situation where it could still like, and even though this is in career, it still could be, um, a person still could be tied into, um, successes of some sort right in terms of like how you get your cups filled because i was saying libra remember um at the beginning for this row that um i see you like um having just opportunities i see because with this ten of cups there's multiple people here so while your cups are being filled um i don't know like <laughs> there's like some type of anxiety here seven of swords some type of like uh distrust maybe libra there's someone like i feel like you're just on edge and with this guarded energy maybe you won't quite be receptive towards like an opportunity coming with a person i feel like you might kind of like squint your eyes and be like why is this person here and like just be too guarded to allow it to come in so look at people with a softer uh, set of eyes this week libra because you might be pleasantly surprised even if you have been disappointed by people in the past libra right we all have been disappointed in the past it just means you've lived a good life honey if you've been disappointed by people but there are good people you don't want to become cynical about life but with that being said let's get into your social spread now this is the spread for dealing with just like your social connections whether it's platonic romantic what have you libra right Let's see what's going on here. The card that flew out is the Nine of Swords for you, Libra. So this is that anxiety card. You are in your head about some type of connection, which leads me to believe as to it makes sense because, again, this guarded energy. I really feel like there's just the sense of... um Distrust is a strong word, Libra. 
but you're just really on guard and you just, I don't know. It just is, seems like you're just very, um, because you're just like perhaps disappointed in people, someone like disappointed you perhaps, you're just in this place of where you just no longer want to open up anymore. And it just sucks, right? Cause it's just like, maybe it's just because of like all the chaos in your life right now, Libra, that it's just like, you just are overall on edge. But I don't know, let's look at some clarifiers for this Libra. Back of the deck, energy, knight of swords. Yeah, this is definitely what's going on. I really do feel like Libra, that there is a person coming into your life or there is a person in your work life situation that could, or someone in your life that could benefit for your work life, but you are guarded in it. And it shows in terms of the social aspect as well, right? Knight of Swords, I feel like you would be running away from this person. There's like this uh, sense, Libra, of where you kind of want to just uh, flight. It's kind of like the uh, fight or flight, and you always are doing that flight, right? There is just like this, like distrust and anxiety with people. Uh, five of Wands. I mean, this is like the conflict card, Libra. I don't know if you've been dealing with anybody recently that's caused you. Like, it is some type of conflict here that's put you on guard, definitely for sure. I don't know if it, this is like. It just feels like also those like kind of like the white noise here. Like you already are managing like two different pentacles here. You're managing two different main points here. It feels like this white noise, this chaos is like the people involved, right, Libra? Um, and it's just almost like distractions for you. We have Ace of Swords coming in. So it is like clouding your mind. It is um, this case of where it's just like you're trying to focus on other things, Libra. You're trying to like, you know, even manage your finances, right, with the pentacles being there. But it's just like people page of cups being in here uh it is just seems to be like this resistance towards people it is like this when you see people coming in libra you just want to run away and so libra i'm trying my best not to be biased in this reading as well just because of my own experiences so please trust and believe that when i'm giving this advice i'm telling myself as well libra but um it seems to be just be more open Libra, don't, you don't want to, this is really an energy we want to get out of Libra because it's like, you're doing like this final clearing of a bunch of stuff. And now like, <laughs> you know, like don't internalize that, right? Just keep it going. Don't see, don't think that you're doing anything wrong. Just stay the course for a little bit longer. And I promise you like you're going to be happy with the results, right? Just don't get cynical about life, Libra. Don't get cynical. Easier said than done, I know. But uh, we, we can get through this, right? I promise you. You just don't want to be blocked off. You don't want to have your arms crossed blocking yourself off from blessings when they start coming to you, Libra. And I do see it coming. It does seem to be with the Page of Cups coming in. That is, The Page of Cups is a person coming into your life. So it's, you know, we close off the first row with career with the Knight of Cups, which is talking about a cup person coming in Libra. And then the Page of Cups, we close it off with the social aspect, which is talks about a new person coming in Libra. So two different rows talking about this, right? King of Swords, final back of the deck energy for this Libra for your social situation definitely yeah i feel like this is your what you want to strive to be just keep um keep a good composure libra uh speak uh don't react right the king of swords doesn't react the king of swords is a thoughtful person meditates heavily right has their own escape right um and i feel like that is important for you libra if you start seeing yourself spiral or you start being overwhelmed by this chaos go out into nature uh disconnect in some type of way just get out of your head just even for like a few moments and i feel like you'll be able to put quickly put things into perspective and be able to handle it well uh but yet uh but yet but now libra let's get into your final row this is just going to be overall messages messages from your spirit guide ancestors archangels whatever it is you subscribe to right see any final thoughts overall with this so we have the star card coming in this is beautiful this is a good start this is that wish fulfillment card libra this is like confirming to me what i was saying before as well of where uh, I mean, if you look literally in the, uh, I kind of actually want to suggest for you, Libra, to look at the uh, lore behind the star, look up the meaning behind the star. But the star is not only uh, that wish fulfillment, showing that you're on the right path and keep going forward, but it does talk about just like a cleanse, like a weight off you being lifted off of your shoulders. So it's definitely confirming to me, Libra, that you are just in like this phase of just like releasing a bunch but then once after you finish that spring cleaning honey then things the blessings can start coming towards you i promise you 
Um, but yeah, let's start getting some final clarifiers with this. I just constantly, like, I know I'm being repetitive here, Libra, but we just really want to get out of this Two of Swords energy. We don't want that to be um, what's going on for you the entire week. Back of the deck energy, Two of Pentacles following you. Um, so yeah, it's through this chaos, the clarifiers that we have, Eight of Swords, don't get stuck in your head, don't intern, like this is the card is saying, don't internalize things going on right now, Libra, allow, like if you're releasing people, or you're releasing things, if things are just being released in your life, allow it to happen, you don't, don't see, don't, don't internalize it at all because it's intended. You have the death and rebirth card, Libra. This is intended, right? This is all part of the process for you to get to your wish fulfillment, for you to get to your star. It may not make sense right now, Libra, but I promise you it's going to make sense very soon for you. I promise you your story is going to get better. Trust me, I do this for a living, right? <laughs> And then we have the Knight of Wands. So this is like, I really do see this as um, things just ramping up for you, Libra. I really just do see like opportunities and doors opening up where um, things are just like, I just feel like a bunch of new energy is going to be coming in for you, Libra. And I feel like it's going to even still maintain like that overwhelming chaotic life, right? Because you still have the two of pentacles where you're dealing with a lot, but it's a lot of blessings. It's a lot of opportunities to like work around. So it's all under like a good umbrella, albeit stressful. But um, yeah, just don't lose faith, Libra, don't lose faith. Uh, the yeah, that's the reading that I have for you, Libra. Let me know if you enjoyed this reading. Let me know which card resonated with the most, with you the most. I really enjoyed doing this. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, and then share my videos with a friend, Libra, if you think they might be into my messages as well. Until next time, Libra.